yesterday and all of my plans are well like super well thanks to my mom unfortunately he died I'm not sure he looks a little bit dead to me and I have to throw him away but um, I really like this cactus so I'm gonna replace him with a new one for sure it's a sad I don't know but I had this cactus for two years so he definitely uh, had a good time but now He's kind of dead. I'm back at home. I kind of feel very, very sad. I miss the weather a lot. The other day, like uh, the last couple of days in Spain that we have left, we decided to go get a tattoo. I'm gonna show you the tattoo right now. Let's go! So that's my new tattoo. Um, it was kind of spontaneous, but I really like it. When I'm low, I have to drink something juicy or like a juice to get or to get my blood sugar to normal levels again. And since I love to drink juice in that kind of way, and it kind of reminds me of my yeah type one diabetes, I thought that's like the perfect way to have this as a tattoo. But I need to put cream on it, so I have cream right now on it. And this cream is very, very sticky, so that's why I'm walking or living currently in shorts. Otherwise, my pants will stick to the tattoo, and I really don't like the feeling. So bear with me living in trunks right now. Look at the details. I even I even draw the line on the straps, which is a cool detail. I really like this. I've been painting these tote bags a lot and I really love painting tote bags because it calms me down and it's more like therapy and it's also kind of cool. I get those tote bags actually from Amazon. I ordered them in a 10 pack um, like as a tan pack on Amazon, like plain. I paint them with acrylic paint. And since acrylic paint washes off after a time, and we need to fix them by heat setting them. And that's what I'm going to do. <laughs>
what I've signed up for. It's 4.30 and it's completely dark. It's pitch black outside. Why? <laughs> Why? Isn't he cute? He's tiny, fat, kind of big. It's cute. I love him. Or it. Do we need a name? Maybe you can comment a name. I don't know. Since I have a new cactus, I thought I'm gonna do a new DIY with it. I thought I'm gonna do a cover for the pot by crocheting something, which is pretty cool. I've never done that. I thought like going black and white doesn't harm the process, doesn't harm the room. I cannot do something wrong with it. And I'm crocheting, of course, a checkered pattern. I saw this in a store like yesterday and I was like, who, who are you? You look wild. I need you at home. You're coming with me. So I got it and I don't regret it. So maybe I'm gonna upcycle this part as well because it looks like boring. You can call, you can name this plant in the comments as well because I do not have any names for any of my plants here? I'm so boring. Apparently it's called Philodendron Silver Sword. I am so bad at plant names. I'm not very good at plants. And I have this huge palm tree, then this dragon palm tree, which I really like. Here, this one, I don't know how it's called. Does anybody know how this is called? I like him. And you see, I'm not very good at treating it. Because this is dead. Don't judge me, I'm trying my best. And I like the way how it grows. One of my favorite plants are these. They are so easy to handle and it looks so beautiful. I really like this one. I got two of those. I got them as babies and now they're so big. I'm very proud. I didn't take care of them because other people did but when I was there or when I was at home I took care of them and they didn't die so far. Alright, so basically what I'm doing is a fitted cover for this pot which is the part of my cactus. You can either do this with a bottom, but I decided to just do the cover around it like a ring. So for this eye, that depends also on your pot, by the way. I chained up 40. Then I connected the first stitch with the last stitch with a slip stitch and started to do my double crochet checkered pattern, which is this. Changing color every fourth stitch. And then I connected my last stitch to the, uh, like my last post uh, to the first post and chain up two and started my second row. And then I started to increase, but only three times in that, in that row, uh, finishing that row. And then in row three, I started to increase every second square. So um, I think that was only the white. I increased only the white um, for one stitch. And then um, like now in this next row, in my fourth row, I'm going to increase in every squared box. What I try is each row I'm checking if it's like fitting my part. So this is kind of, yeah, something where you constantly have to check with your part if it fits. And I'd rather have it too tight than too loose because I want to have this perfectly fitted onto my pot. If it doesn't stick to the pot, I thought like at the end to hot glue it. So I think for the next row, I'm going to stop increasing, just doing the amount of stitches that is giving in this row. It looks so cool. 
Okay, let me clean this up. Cutting a thread, weaving it in. I'm testing out this new camcorder I bought. It's a vintage camcorder because Belina had one in Mallorca and I really wanted to get one as well. So I got one and now I'm trying it out. I hope it's good. It's very vintage. I forgot my glasses at home. So this is very dangerous right now for me because I'm theoretically blind. So I have to drive very carefully, but I just wanted to get like a memory card for this camcorder really quickly and I forgot it at home, so... cool huh I think this one is still a little bit better than this one but this one is a kind of cool as well bestie I hope you like this little vlog tutorial feel free to give it some thumbs up and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet feel free to subscribe to the channel for more videos in the future and I can't wait to be back in the next video thanks for watching I hope you have a good day good night good morning whenever you're watching this video I love you I'll see you guys soon Ciao, ciao!